call you a hearse. <coughs> this is for Cody. No! What are you doing? Here, hold this. I'm the one to try. You want to pull up more of these? You're straight up, gangster. And I win. Well, I saw these commercials over and over, and I thought, performing better? Well, that could be fun. And we're live. Welcome back to the Church Ghost Podcast. Episode 30. With our host, Clinton Jennings. <laughs> Coming in with hooks, brother. Let's go. All right. Welcome back. Um, it's been a long... Y'all, they're not ready, dude. They're not ready for this, dude. Long weekend. That's all you got. <laughs> Sorry, I had to collect my thoughts. It has has it's it been not, a long weekend? Yeah, dude, yeah, it's fucking, been a fucking long ass weekend. So yeah, dude. Just want to start it's off with that. A week, long week. It's been a long year. Yeah. It's been a long life. Yeah. It's been a long life. Yeah. Just slowly deteriorating. I think I fucking got my grandpa had like some serious neck and back issues. Yeah. Like his cartilage would like deteriorate. I think um, I think I might get that gene. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, or I just need to go get a massage. Oh man, chiropractor. Andy. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna slowly like He's gonna hunch into like an old hunching. Jewish lady. <laughs> <laughs> Do that like, hunched over. So, yeah. be really good at making bread. Yeah. Um, well, I on the other hand have been growing stronger every day. Yeah. Getting more powerful. Yep. I've been eating lots of cheeseburgers. Power my yes. muscles. Hell yeah. Um, but your back problem and your whatever, um, you carry around a backpack full of water every day. So that's probably not. Well, not every day. Helping. <laughs> it's only four gallons. Yeah. Well, so. Say. But yeah, I thought, what? why are you going to turn it right back at me? <laughs> you were telling me that I thought you, you were getting like stronger. What are you, show me, I am. what are your ways? Come on. Just sanding? Let's go right now. <laughs> sanding? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll fucking sand your ass. I'll fucking grind Just your Just whip out your off, sander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically, I can breathe in sawdust all day. It doesn't affect me. Um, Just getting stronger. Yeah. Lots of coffee. No water. Still no water. Still no water. Just been looking at this half- Almost empty bottle of water, but I'm not going to drink it. Just telling people you've been drinking water. But yeah, yeah, yeah I just got keep a bottle. pouring it a little in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, just keep having to go to the bathroom drinking so much water. Just yeah, god yeah. damn, all this water. Drinking everybody. But yeah. Well, big surprise, folks. Our guest, we had to, we had another guest lined up, but mm. flaked again. Thought we weren't going to so. bring that up. Makes us look like giant losers. We did not talk about our, our not fancy. bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we try to have a guest, they again. don't come through. <laughs> I, I like I like to keep the, the, the viewers on edge, you know. So uh, yeah, don't like, let if them you leave know. a comment, just well, come on, come yeah, through. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> please, for love of God, <laughs> somebody. Um, but you know, um, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we're. We're big losers. <laughs> <laughs> super, super losers. Same fuck, but man. still recording on my phone, and it looks pretty goddamn crooked. If I'm, being I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you know, fixing post. What's we'll fixing yeah. post? Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I love about this cast. It's <laughs> it's true to the art. Like this is art. You know, yeah, this dude, is it. a whole art. This is segment. This is it, bro. I'm like, seeing. The days of our lives. <laughs> the days of our... Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I loved that soap opera. H Town. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> when I was a kid? Hell yeah. No, I never... I Never? No, I was raised in a house full of women, I but I had my own television and I played Sonic. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to play video games. What? Dude. It That's... was soap operas in the morning. I was like first generation. The view in the afternoon. Yeah, no, dude. I was like first generation, like, all right, here's a video game. Just leave me alone. You know, kid, know. I was like that first wave of kids. Video games were the devil. Like that. No, dude, <laughs> so, we were fucking. I was. I was not it, allowed to play video games. Yeah, well, I, like the only so games I could play if it taught me some, like, learned, like. Mm. But if it was something to do with yeah, taught me how to 
coach a football team is what it was. Not even me. that. Like, no, 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 that's the devil. Football's yeah. the devil. Teaching me how to adjust for wind out on the golf course. You know, those kinds of things. Or was it foosball's Physics. the devil? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, um, no, I loved watching those. I mean, I hated them, but I mean, some of those chicks on there when I was a little boy, I was like, oh, so this is what. Maybe some fiery Latina <laughs> <laughs> comes in from fucking. It's just like a bunch of love affairs. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, yeah. yeah this yeah. is like, why am I watching this? Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> bitches are scandalous. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just a group of like 15 people and they all just hook up and then they yeah. replace them all. <laughs> they all work at the they same all, place. They all show up out of nowhere. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> Have sex with everybody and then just die off, <laughs> just get, die in a plane crash, and then your twin and then brother shows new, up, <laughs> new actor next week. <laughs> uh, yeah, the show must go on. But we no, we're it. stuck with Clint's iPhone. Not, I mean, not to shit on iPhone, but it's, a, it's like the best iPhone. Even though it's a little crooked, I mean, we got a nice wooden. Post. Mm. And I the mean, best part is, I mean, the viewers at home will never know this. <laughs> you should take a picture got, of it. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it. You take a picture of it, you fucker. All right, um, I will. But uh, it's, a, uh, it's a beautiful setup we got going here. And the best part about it is we get to look at the American flag. <laughs> and if you notice, it's like clearly made in China. It's Otterbox brand, but it's clearly made in China. Oh, the like, flash was on? God damn it. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this live, folks. It's probably sh- something you shouldn't do. <laughs> it's yeah. probably, like taking post. pictures of a camera that's <laughs> recording your podcast. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. I uh, will edit it out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we'll fix it in post. We'll post. fix it in post. post. You got yeah. it. We got it. Uh, but yeah, new cameras in the works. We keep saying it, and yeah. more guests are in the works. Oh, so we'll, we'll be in high definition one day, dude. Do not gonna, worry you're gonna about be able to see my nose hairs. Yeah. So. What's up, bro? What you looking at? I always keep my microphone right here in front of my nose. <laughs> yeah, just... I always say, like, when you go to a barber, like, all right, time to get those nose there. Like, ah. You're like, ah, you just like, feel violated. Just like, just Dude. raped you up the nose with Honestly, some fucking yeah. weird vibrating thing. Yeah, that's it sounds and, terrible. But it tickles. Yeah, and it feels amazing. Like, ah. It feels good. You finally breathe. You're like, ah. always tip them twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I haven't been to a barber shop in forever. Me neither. That's what I'm saying. I, honestly, my sister went to fucking uh, whatever hairdresser school or cosmetology school. Cosmetology. Yeah. She's San Jack graduate. <laughs> um, she learned how to cut hair, and then uh, basically, from before she even did that, she was cutting my hair, and then she stopped cutting my hair. So I just started cutting my own fucking hair because we had all the shit. And just like uh, I learned all the tricks from yeah, it. I just know what's up, dude. I know my I know my sight lines, I know my shapes, you know, I know how to fade it, dude. I got like that, you know. White boy fade going right you just now. Start selling haircuts out the house. Oh yeah, dude. I mean just put a paint happen, sign. I just always get paid in weed. That's my problem. Yeah. Well but yeah, you want to bring a bad over a to have. What's up? <laughs> not a bad problem to have. Yeah, dude. It's all good. <laughs> You're living good out here. <laughs> Oh fuck! Uh, sports eggs. You got anything? Sports? Uh, nothing really big has no? happened. Uh, I guess CJ Stroud's gone Hollywood, but that's fine. I don't really care about all that shit. What uh, do you expect? Yeah, I expect, right? I expect him to go get a fucking shoe. Like, what deal the hell would you do? Go home. Like, what dude. the fuck? Yeah. You're You're studying a goddamn playbook. Studying. There is no off season in the NFL, <laughs> CJ. Goddamn man. Hey man, he's now you're dating. Live ice it up, and CJ. Shit. Fucking, how old is that motherfucker? No, oh, dude, he's like dude. maybe 22, dude. dude. I'd be wilding oh out, dude. Are you kidding? God, I'd be throwing dude. my life away. Now. Come on now. Let that <laughs> Give me kid be a kid. $10 million dollars when I turn Jesus 22. Christ. Are you fucking kidding me? No, dude. Shout well, out CJ Stroud. Yeah, let's kill it. I was going to just kind of pick your brain on the running back situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. What uh, do you think? Do you think we should stick with Singletary? I mean, or I like Singletary and... Uh, it's Singletary and Stingley, right? No, no, no. Uh, Stingley's the cornerback. Cornerback. Derek gotcha. Stingley. Gotcha. Sorry. Um, it's Damian Pierce would be the other guy. <laughs> there you go. Who had a good rookie year and then just couldn't really fit into the system last year. I'm not ready to give up on Damian Pierce yet. Still down. Dame, 31. We all fucking love that dude. Uh, he's the heart and soul of the Houston Texans, so I hope he doesn't go fucking nowhere. 
But uh, I do hope he has some more productive season. I'm sure he'd say the same thing. Um, but if there is a chance that we can bring in like a big name running back, I'm kind of in, kind of. I don't know, dude. It, it fucks me up. Like Saquon or Josh Jacobs or Derrick Henry's out there. It's like older dudes, and we're going to give them a big con- – that's like shit that the fucking Redskins used to do, and it would yeah. always backfire every fucking yeah. time. Like, oh, shit, Emmett Smith. Let's pick him up when he's 32. Right. It's like, man, that's kind of what it feels like to me. Because it's not like we did much yeah. running-wise. No, right. no, we were the like right, one of the right. worst so fucking running teams in like, the league. It was why awful. invest in a you know in, because in a, it's not that we didn't try. That's the right. thing is we're kind of running like the old Kubiak system. If we could find that Arian Foster, we would run the ball. I mean, we run the ball a lot. It's just it, we keep, would kept getting in you know get fucking one yard on first down, two yards on second down. It's like all right, here we go. We're throwing on third, you know. Yeah, and that's just most of our offense came from throwing the ball a lot of times on like, right. third down. But O line so good. Does O line more important than running back? Um, yeah, I would say that, but I mean, Singletary had a couple good games. I'm not gonna say we never were able right, to right. Ball, but if we could get like a bona fide stud in there, I'm down for it. It's just the older dudes that are available right now. I don't know. I don't know if it's that's the move and honestly our offensive line everybody just got hurt like right before the season started like you know Kenyon green who we drafted in the first round two years ago got hurt right before the season started fucking uh titus howard was in and out all fucking year um juice scruggs was hurt for most of the year and then the uh, god damn i can't remember the white dude came up behind him and he was fucking killing it for a while and then he got fucking hurt and scruggs came back it was just it was non-stop it was nonstop rotation. So O line's so there, just just keep stay, not healthy. Stay healthy. I mean, yep. Tunsil stayed healthy, but he was about the only fucking one. Oh, and then whoever the right guard is, fuck, what's that dude's name? So uh, so much disrespect. Cause I totally know these guys' names. I'm just real fucking stunned right now. But either way, you're not shout even out in to Texas mode, dude. I'm not. I wasn't even thinking about the Texans. Dude. I just, we like, just started a new you. fantasy draft. I'm the Raiders. Oh it's, really? Yeah. So we picked the NFC or the AFC West. Me, Boo, Tom. Shout out to the dogs. Um, we're in there's the AFC West, so we are the other teams other than the Chiefs, so that we can just beat up on the Chiefs for eternity, uh, and they'll never ever make the playoffs ever again with us three in the division with them. Uh, but nice. yeah, I'm the Raiders in that, so that's really where my head is. But CJ is my quarterback for the Raiders. Nice. It works out that way. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been. You're talking uh, mad. Mason, something. Shaq Madden? Mason, I think. I can't fucking remember what you're talking Madden. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just asking how to make that <laughs> what clear. What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that'd be the sports sex for the week, I guess. Um, but yeah, how do you feel about running backs? I mean, I don't watch much. Yeah, I just watch. You know, I kind of have my eyes on it and I have my ear on it, but I'm just like, eh. I think they should not chase a big name running back. Yeah. I think they should utilize it either wide receivers or DBs or yeah, wide O receivers. line or something else that where we could. Yeah. Because I like, I mean, if, if when he it comes can, to wide receiver, it's kind of the same. I mean, there is T. Higgins, but, but is if he you a bona fide number one? If no one Mike stays Evans, healthy. He's old. But it's good to have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, if Tank, sure. Dale, Tank Dale went Run. down, fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, People for have sure. to step up, but if we had someone there, Woods was hurt for a while. Everybody, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is <laughs> in football. People get fucking hurt. Right. So you want to have you want to definitely build that depth. Um, but when it comes to free agents, dude, honestly, my personal opinion is we need to get one of these fucking linebackers, either Patrick Queen or Frankie Louvu. I would like either one of those dudes. And then if we can get a fucking pass rusher on the outside, yeah. That's what I'm all about. Um, so stack up the D a yeah. little bit. And then you draft a wide receiver, you draft a running back. I mean, and you just, I don't know. I feel like offensive players are more expensive and not, I mean, depending on the guy, they could be, but they're probably not going to be worth the contract. At least not, I don't know. At least not this group of dudes. If you can find a good interior offensive lineman, I'd take that too. But I think our tackles are pretty solid. Yeah. But anyways, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Well, they got good momentum I support, going to Nick's. Honestly, I support whatever Nick Serio does. He's been fucking killing it the last couple of years, and I'm all good with it. Well, yeah. Go Texans. <laughs> Go Texans. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the sports tags for the week. Yeah. Um, Astros are getting started in fucking spring Yeah, ball. Spring, spring trading, man. Baseball's mm-hmm. back, so let's, let's go. go. It's going to be uh, 
Everyone hates the Astros. Always. Yeah. Always. Well, all the headlines. Dicks. Ooh. Yeah. Not even adding us in any top list. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, and then. Yeah. But go check the, the Vegas. Air. Go yeah. check the Vegas odds. Yeah. See what they say. <laughs> see what Vegas thinks. So. I'm excited. It'll be a fun, fun season for the Strohs. Hell yeah. The Texans. Rockets playing ball. Rockets. Yeah, Rockets up and are down. up and down. Up but and down like usual. I saw the Cougars are killing it. Yeah. U of H. Yeah, they usually have a pretty good uh, basketball team. They're, they're usually where, pretty good all around. That's where Akeem came from. Yeah. So. Shout out to H-Town. Mm-hmm. Holding it down. Um, mm-hmm. Fucking uh, the Texas Livestock Show and Rodeo cook-off went off. <laughs> this weekend <laughs> yeah dude fucking what was it 200,000 people showed up to that motherfucker really a quarter of a million people almost for the cook off <laughs> for the cook off <laughs> for the fucking cook off dude holy shit oh, right dude. that's so many people that's crazy dude cuz so i know where that is like people. i have a fucking season ticket yeah, yeah. i fucking do the thing so it's like to think about two hundred fifty thousand people fitting in that fucking parking lot is insane because the games are like oh my God, fifty thousand maybe forty fifty sixty at the most, and that shit's fucking packed. You know, packed. it's playoff game. Oh it's fucking God, packed, dude. Like to think of literally five times that many fucking people in the guy that just fucking elbow to elbow trying to get a fucking corn dog. Like that's, that's fucking insanity, ridiculous, man. man. Fucking uh, cook off, sir. I love cook offs. Don't get me wrong, but shit, if you get a tent pass, you're cool, but. Everybody else is just walking just around, fucking sardined in yeah, that bitch. That. Oh, dude, nah. But no, nah, cookout's cool. I mean, the rodeo is a cool fucking thing. I mean, it's yeah, I haven't been since I was a little kid. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. It's just it's cool if you know people. If you don't, you're just out there buying shit up the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way it works. Going broke yeah. for a goddamn turkey shit, leg. The last couple times I went, that was because I got like passes from my work. Yeah. Let's go down there and watch, listen to like a DJ play fucking hip hop, country music and shit. Damn play a lot of Kid Rock. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get all the bikers all hopping dude, up. Dude, Kid Rock was just on the Joe Rogan experience. Oh, was he really? Yeah, yeah dude. Funny. Dude, it's a good episode. It's he, fucking hilarious. Is he still trying to be the governor? I don't know. I don't think he didn't talk about that, but uh, definitely. Brought up the Bud Light shit. And oh, like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, he said, like, he got cool with them. Like, they, they whatever, like, yeah. he didn't do it. Whatever. I don't know. You should listen to that. Listen to the episode. But they said Bud Light CEOs, like, ship, like, 120 cases of Bud Light to his house. Oh, yeah. He's been like, <laughs> and he said he pulled up, like, there's like, a whole truck. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Two truckloads. Hey man, we saw you were out of Bud Light, so we wanted to get you some more. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. That's so <laughs> no, dude. I was it's a funny a episode. Joke about that shit, like, because now the Bud Light's back, it's all good, you know. But yeah, like you know what the original controversy was? Why everybody got all butter? It's like they sponsored like a trans lady. Oh, yeah. So I don't uh, know. I what's just, his name? Mulaney. I don't fucking. I don't I have know. No idea. Know. I never looked that deep into it, but uh. Some fucking tranny Twitch streamer or whatever. It was like, oh, Bud Light. Whatever, you know. Something fucking happened. They put it on the can. But I, I was always like, uh, or I, <laughs> I thought, I was like, dude, I don't see what the big fucking deal is. Like, Bud Light's been putting tits on dudes for years, man. That seems like right on brand for Bud Light, dude. I don't <laughs> see what the big fucking deal is. <laughs> but, these you know, tits. <laughs> yeah, sponsored like, by Bud Light. Yeah, exactly, dude. Who cares? <laughs> oh, these are silicon, so it doesn't count. So that's your wife, dude. <laughs> but anyways all right we're breaking for a beer oh wait you have beers do you give me a beer hell yeah i really thought we were about to I break came beer. beer paired get it um uh beer brow br- br- beer out beer out out br- um, br- beer out <laughs> you. you're very beard well, yep, that's funny. Fucking, so I've been getting... And we're back, folks. <laughs> I've been getting these, like, uh, political text messages because uh, <laughs> election's going off. Oh, uh, yeah, you you voted for Bernie, no, so now you're fucking... <laughs> no, dude, I didn't vote. The funny thing is, like, it pops up, thank you, Matthew, like my ex-boss's oh, name, really? <laughs> for signing up for... So I think my Xbox signed me up for some fucking... 
Oh, really? Bullshit campaign text messages. Awesome. That way, now I get... Dude, I'm just getting blown up. Greg Abbott will be yeah, here and yeah. here. I'm like, thanks, Matthew. I'm like, whoever takes my job in the future will be a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure of it. Conservatives forever. That's funny. But I just opt out. But Yeah, I don't... I've never been contacted by political people. I just vote for third party every time. That's all I do. I just go. That's what. All right, Green Party, uh, the Communist Party, all right, and this is Libtard, all right, Libtard Party. <laughs> <laughs> just vote for whatever the other party I is. Don't vote. I feel like it just, I don't really believe in either of the two main political parties. What I don't is, know anything about the other ones. What does voting so do? I just go for the other ones. Uh, I mean, it can matter, but I don't know, dude. We're in the. Our votes we're only in a matter on like a. Uh, like, uh, Local level, local level, yeah, like because you can't really change much well, on a. It doesn't matter anyways because you're. It's the whole representative democracy ap- aspect of it. Like, <laughs> you only get to choose between a couple right. of people, so it doesn't really matter what you want. It's what one of these, these two options are. Want you right. know? It's like the people that can affect laws and stuff. It's like, what do they want, or the people who funded them want is really the thing. So it's I don't know. It's one of those things in a. In a true democracy, everything would be voted on by everybody. But even that wouldn't be like for the great, you know, that wouldn't necessarily be the greatest thing that everybody right, got right. to get on on every decision because a lot of people wouldn't know the, you know, shit. People wouldn't know it would what's be in the a, bills. Or maybe it was happening. just like a boom, vote on this thing. Like, oh, yeah, just if it was like one of those individual issues. Fine, but what but if that was like a daily thing where you just like it was yeah, just so, yeah, you're just like take it just ding. All right, new law, and you got to like. Vote or yes, like yeah, but just by your phone, <laughs> yeah. But you're just like, do you do what's funniest or what's <laughs> right? <laughs> do you think it's like, nah, <coughs> nah, fuck that. Abortion's illegal. <laughs> I'm married now. Right. <laughs> Abortion's illegal. <laughs> illegal. <laughs> uh, it's not that simple. Yeah, it's not. But plus, what if you got like two or three phones? <laughs> One phone limit <laughs> per human. Or if you just have your girls, Dead. you have everybody's phone in the house. You're like Dead. Waiting for the messages to come in. You're Dead. Like super pack. Everyone's got a, a chip implanted in their brain. Oh, yeah. And if you have more than one phone, Make it a decision now. <laughs> yeah. Just driving. Just decision time. <laughs> Vote. <laughs> Should toilet paper be seven ninety nine yeah. by a square inch? You're like, holy fuck. Just <laughs> die. Yeah. crazy fucking world we live in uh so i don't know my lady was talking about something about the internet and i was I was eating usually when i eat i don't really pay attention to anything i just i'm just kind of eating so sorry i'm lovely but yeah <laughs> i'm just <laughs> like talked out eating, i'm just like mm, spaghetti <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah i'm just oh, like man dude this oh. is great and then, then like oh. someone's talking to me i'm just like you know, I'm having a good time eating, so of course. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome, dude! But she was talking about internet and this thing and that, and um, man, when is the world's gonna end? Man, the real bitch is talking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the fuck no. trying to talk at me while I'm eating my spaghetti, dude? What the fuck is there, bro? <laughs> like the world's gonna end <laughs> soon, right? Like, I mean, okay, so my like, argument it has like, to be because my argument against that would have to be this. Cause that's what everybody has always said, right? Ever, like, right. For, from the beginning of time, everybody was like, "Yeah, well, the world's about to end, so therefore, it's going to end." Their agenda is so. Please continue with your agenda. Um, because Crocs, you know the shoes, Crocs. <laughs> Crocs. Yeah, dude. I will say, okay. idiocracy is getting. That's what I'm right, saying. Dude. But now they have. If the Crocs becomes the president, <laughs> Crocs. Crocs. Oh, Croc boots. boots. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. They're Have you seen those? Yeah, dude, what those the f- awful, dude. dude? They're awful, man. I Croots. will say they did Croc it right. Boots. Though. They did do it right. Having the fucking <laughs> 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 having this half be the boot, not the bottom half. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. If they just like shaped them like a boot, but they were still Crocs. No, that would be so lame. Still gay. <laughs> the fucking, so gay. To have the fucking like that's a there. disgrace. The high top on there. God damn it. It's what do you stupid. need a a Croc boot for? I mean, for when you're in your crocs, when you're fruit and you're, booting, when you're riding a horse through the woods, you know the the side <laughs> that keeps the thorns and shit from scratching you. 
Now your feet are gonna be fucked. Fruit your booter. Fucking ankles are That's gonna what be we're sweet. gonna call them. Fruit booters. Fruit boots. <laughs> <laughs> fruit boots. <laughs> uh, fruit boots. Oh, uh, great. Good old times. I remember hating other people. That's such a that's such a weird thing that happens at a skate park. That, like, there's like a dynamic of like, <laughs> if you're if you're using any other item. Other than the fucking like, I'm skate. I ride a skateboard, so if you're on a bike or rollerblades or a fucking scooter, yeah, I hate your ass. You're, fucking you're the punk. fucking worst, and <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate you. You're just like an automatic click. Yeah, like, fuck you guys. Yeah, exactly. Just walk in. Just like, oh fucking. Fruit These boots. guys just are go here. Literally sit down on a bench next to somebody's, you know, Gatorade or something. <laughs> they come up like, oh, what's up? Hey man, you got a skate tool? I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Best friends forever. Yeah, yeah. Well, until one of you guys get hurt and stop skateboarding forever. <laughs> yeah. It's not all for everyone. Yeah. But I don't know. So apparently fucking some big cartoon, big uh, names are giving their names away to public domain, like uh, Mickey, Steamboat Mickey. Like they're oh, giving okay. up their route rights for people well, isn't to... Isn't that not them giving them up? It's just that the uh, copyright's expiring. Right, right. So then Disney, it just becomes, right? It yeah, it's just program. like goes out into the yeah. world. So apparently uh, we can fucking... Make, what's we can his make nuts? Mickey is, on Steamboat porn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I mean... Hell yeah, dude. Let's do it. I mean, what's his nuts? Uh, uh, Houses of a Thousand Corpses. Rob Zombie. Yeah. He's making a... a like a horror thriller steamboat Mickey like film. Hmm. That's interesting. So uh, I swore I saw something about that. Maybe uh, I saw. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't fucking know. Either or that or Tim Burton. Way. Either someone. Yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember seeing something and I swore it was Mickey. Mickey Mouse or whatever. Where I was like, man, the fuck did they get the rights to do that? Yeah, like yeah. I thought that whenever I saw it. It might, it might have been that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, whatever. Just what? another tidbit. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> yeah, just so you know. <laughs> if we want to do anything, Steamboat will. My balls. Just. Yeah, dude, I'm super done with that. But all right, so I have some breaking news. Oh God, what? This is important shit. Everybody, listen up. <sighs> My wife and I have been voted whitest people in America. We did it. Really? Whitest people in America. <laughs> really? Yes, dude. It's crazy. So what we did was, all right, I go to the store the other day, right? Because we painting the whole goddamn kitchen, right? Hell yeah. So I was supposed to, like, a pipe busted like six months ago. And I replaced the pipe and everything, but there's just been a hole in the wall. So I finally replaced the hole in the wall. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do all the sheetrock work that needs to be done in the house. What color do you want the kitchen to be? She was like, oh, <coughs> found some picture, you know, whatever. It's like a dark, you know, grayish blue color. And the other color is like a cream kind of color. So I go to the fucking store. Pick them. Like, yeah, it's pretty close. I'm like looking at, a, you know, my phone. So it's like it's getting brighter and darker and shit. <laughs> Whenever I cover up the fucking lens and stuff. Whatever. Um, get like close to the two colors as close as I could. And I'm like, all right, you get two buckets of paint go get home and i'm painting on the wall and i'm like what color like what's the name of this color you know what the name of it was the cream color what aioli <laughs> <laughs> so nice. i painted my walls mayonnaise colored in the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> oh my color my kitchen is mayonnaise colored now <laughs> it's the color of fucking mayo dude uh, uh and then we i got a phone call <laughs> <laughs> and they're like hey guess what you've been voted whitest people in america um nice. so we're getting a check nice yeah. getting free bait free uh yeah getting a bank loan <laughs> <laughs> getting uh yeah it's pretty sweet i can't wait to see it <laughs> yeah it's gonna be sweet it's gonna look beautiful i'm gonna put it right here on the table it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Blackered, yeah, it's just just on your front door. Yeah, some animal Animal Crossing shit. Man, it's just fucking. <laughs> You've been voted. <laughs> That's like <laughs> some. You get voted on your decoration of your house. Yep, and you get placards. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. whitest couple you know. Yep. Clint and Kristen sounds about right. <laughs> you know, on the parade. <laughs> oh, those are those white folks. Yeah. Look, Daddy, it's the white folks. 
Yep, so <laughs> there they go. The whitest couple in America. <clears throat> All right. Makes Cl- me proud. I got- Clint, we're going to run a new segment today. We're going to call this new slang. I'm going to run some words by you. And you're going to... We're we're millennials, right? I'm not really sure. Technically. We were born after 1990. I was born in 90. Right. Yeah. So when 90 happened, you were born after. You weren't born in 89. Like five months after, for sure. Right. I was two months after 90. Okay. But even if you were born in 89 and you went to school with us, I think you still probably fall into the same category. Nope. Nope, you're. You get it's fucking, like that's the that's the that's the cutoff. Here. You're fucking. <laughs> you're an '80s kid. I guess I don't know. <laughs> no, that's not fact. Check me. <laughs> anyway, uh, but sure. either ways, we're. I don't know, but these words are the new slang that the kids are saying. So I want you to describe just just. All right, first one. We're gonna say them, and then we're just gonna use them in a sentence. We're old people looking up uh, black people talk. <laughs> Old yeah. whites looking Ebonics. up like, uh, <laughs> looking at some ebonics on the internet. So first word, belfy. Belfy? Yeah. A belfy? <laughs> like a booty selfie? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. New term to look up. <laughs> so Belfies. really, really, hold up. Let me take a belfy. <laughs> no, hold up. Let me take that belfy. <laughs> What do you? Which Belfie do you like? Though? This one or this oh, one? Oh, Belfie, baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, next. Belfie, though. Yeah, no, that's a perfect. That's a new. Dude, that's great. It's a new porn search term. Hey, those lo- those Lulus make your ass look great. Really? Hold up. Let me take a Belfie. <laughs> that's your fucking. <laughs> that's your use it in a sentence. Yeah. All right. B E L. Uh, that's awesome, dude. Selfie. Uh, butt selfie. Yeah, dude. I just been I just been googling ass selfie. Yeah. <laughs> now you know. ass selfie. Yeah, now you can Google Nude Belfie. male ass selfie, but I I can cut that down. Bro Belfie. <laughs> <laughs> that bro Belfie, bro. <laughs> so. Next one. Uh, I'm yeah. baby. I'm baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I think we need to talk about you coming into work hungover. I'm baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm baby. I'm baby. I'm baby. <laughs> this is just like tell you how dumb we are <laughs> as a species. It literally I'll means it usually means sleepy. It literally means sleepy. <laughs> yeah, like I'm sleepy. Oh, so that was the response. Yeah. I thought you were ending the sentence. No. I thought this was completely separate. You were like, you need to come into work on time. I'm Belfie. No. <laughs> or I'm whatever. Baby. I'm baby. Yeah. No, it says, hey, I think you need a to- response. <laughs> I'm baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm baby. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Bro, you're dude. 32. Yeah, dude. I'm baby. Yeah. Still live at my mom's house. I'm I don't baby. know. <laughs> All right, cray. Everyone knows that one. Cray, cray. Crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crayfish. Yeah, that's a crayfish. That fish is cray. That fish is cray. That fish cray. That fish cray. Uh, Gucci. That one's cool. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, this one says, I'm coming over at 10 and we're going out to eat pigs in a blanket before we go out. Gucci. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's like word. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I mean, I know Gucci. I just thought you were looking up funny ones. It's not just like, these are my favorites. <laughs> oh, this one's good. Squad goal. Squad goal? Yeah. Hell here's, yeah, dude. Here's we got a squad example. goal. You're going to run a train on that hoe. Squad goal. <laughs> I know Squad Gold Dog. It explains. Sees Harry Potter and friends gear up to defeat Dark Lord. Squad Goals. Squad Goals. <laughs> Damn right. Uh, finesse. No, oh, yeah. We finesse. talked about this yeah, earlier. Finesse. finesse. Which I think I, I'm disputing. Go ahead and so explain it to people. It's finesse, obviously. Is you can finesse. Like, the finesse is like a smooth, like, you're good at this or, you know. To smooth things out in a nice way, or get away with something in a a smooth way. Yeah, it's it's a, it's, it's a, in a way a reference to style. Right, like like a finesse player versus like a fucking you know. Right. Whatever. Speed, smoothness. Whatever. But the examples are stoop. Uh, what are you doing tonight? I'm gonna finesse my closet. Yeah, that's so. I don't like that. I'm gonna clean my closet. I'm gonna finesse my closet. I'm gonna. Finesse or, in my closet. That's so cool. 
No, man. That's finesse. <laughs> That's finesse, bro. <laughs> That's not just cool. That's finesse, bro. <laughs> That's finesse, bro. Yeah, dude. dude, your beard? Finesse. Dude, you know what? I fucking know, bro. <laughs> I fucking live finesse, dog. Your dude, your beard is turnt, bro. Turnt, dude. Turnt is, is fucking turnt. Turnt. But no, dude. Fuck all that. Finesse. <laughs> what finesse means is to steal something from somebody. <laughs> like I'm gonna finesse these shoes, or I'm gonna fucking you, you know. Just got finesse. Yeah, I finesse this beer off this dog, bro. You I know, gave like you that. A shit. come up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know you did. I didn't give you any other <laughs> choice, brother. Oh, oh fuck. On fleek? Oh, on fleek. Yeah, that was one of the worst ever. That's like Date, go hard. <laughs> it's funny way it words <laughs> it. It says, on fleek, it dates back to 2003. Oh, yeah, 2003. <laughs> yeah, when on fleek was first uttered by Soldier Boy. Oh, and then, <laughs> <laughs> the examples, what can I say? Those thick eyebrows that everyone made fun of in fifth grade are now constantly on fleek. On oh, fleek, boy. <laughs> What? But no, that's like, that's like but the <laughs> term goes hard. Can't remember if we talked about this. On goes the podcast hard. Or not, but Hell yeah. We we fu- we failed ourselves. We failed ourselves as men. All right. We sat there and listened to goes hard for like maybe like nine months. Right when UFC first got popular, you know, everybody was saying go. Oh, that goes so fucking hard. Right when trapped was out, like back off, I'll take you on. That song goes hard. All right. You know what I mean? Limp Biscuit goes hard. It's just one of those days. You don't want to wake up. Everything is fucked, and everybody sucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what goes hard, bro. <laughs> but it was sitting everybody right there. Sucks. And we just never even saw it. But fucking goes hard. We should have said gets hard. That gets so hard, bro. Everyone gets dude, so that song hard. Gets hard, dude. dude. I got so hard of that dude. song, <laughs> bro. That song gets hard. Gets me hard. <laughs> no, bro. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> No, dude. just get oh, hard. Yeah, yeah. But when the like the intro, like right when the song is like, bum, bum, I start getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> We're so hard. <laughs> it's just one of those days. <laughs> Everything sucks. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyways. <clears throat> <laughs> What else, what else you got? You got some more slangs? Um, here's one that just says P. It's just a letter P. Oh, P? Yeah. <laughs> That's what R. Kelly did to a girl one time. <laughs> I've heard of that street slang before. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it just means pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the P and pretty. <laughs> oh, Kelly thinks you will pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that new Netflix show. Netflix show is P cool. Oh, this one's. Oh, I see. Jomo. Jomo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, dude, is that like, a, like a gay <laughs> that Jomo over there? It's the alternate to FOMO. FOMO? Uh, Jomo, the, aka the joy of missing out. Oh, it's like weird fucking emo kids. are like, oh, I, <laughs> I don't care that Taylor Swift's in town. I didn't want to see that. Like <laughs> Here's Swift. the example. Passes by a line of people waiting to get into a club on a slushy weekend. Ah, sweet, sweet. Jomo. Jomo, bro. <laughs> All you motherfuckers in line right now. Just so you know. Jomo. Alright? I'm fucking Jomo right now. But no, nah, this sounds like uh sounds like a gay. It sounds gay like Jewish a homo, guy, right? right? Yeah, yeah, dude. Maybe like a jabroni who's also gay. A Jomo. I mean, I know what Chomo is. <laughs> no? You yeah. know, you know Chomo? No, man. Well, I know she shaved your mustache off recently. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just, uh, that's what we call fucking kitty touchers out on the yard, bro. Fucking chomos, bro. I've been back on my Wes Watson shit, bro. <laughs> Don't fuck with chomos, bro. <laughs> fuck chomos. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, it's funny. I was watching uh, like on Facebook. I fucking get locked into, for whatever reason, 
it's like 60 days in on a &E. It's like these little like oh, yeah. 10 minute clips from the show or whatever. And there's this one fucking dude who's like in there and like, he's like the, w I don't know. He's just like some weird fucking, you know, white guy or whatever. I think I've he seen looks it. like a cop. Yeah. And like, <laughs> there's these fucking, like they have like a Bible he's study. Got glasses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. no, I don't think no? so. No, no, no. Um, but either way, like they have like a little Bible study and they're like, you know, reading the word and they're like oh you know god forgives everybody and jesus forgives you just have to give your life to him and change your life starting now and blah blah, blah and all that stuff and like they're all like hey man and then the guy like he's trying to like fit in with the guys or whatever but he's fucking sticks out like a sore thumb and he's like yeah except child molesters right fuck those guys right and everybody's like what the fuck he's like i mean god will never forgive a fucking child molester those guys they, they deserve i'll kill a child molester right now right, <laughs> I'm just like, right everybody bro what the fuck <laughs> like right? just like this skinny weird looking white dude it's like everybody's like, like right <laughs> yeah right <laughs> let me see everybody's paperwork man i fucking hate child molesters. but yeah dude he just like keeps bringing it up like so awkwardly it's like that yeah. shit's so funny. And then, oh, like two God. days later, they're all like, all the dudes are like, "All right, this dude's a fucking cop. This guy's gotta go. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta go." <laughs> uh, so he had to, he fucking bailed or whatever. You know? he's like, they always do this. It's like, oh my shoulder. Yeah, like, <sighs> which I have a bad shoulder, so I can never go on that show, dude. <laughs> which I never would. Who the fuck signs up to go to county for forty days? Hell like, no. At least try to rob a liquor store. Like if you're In gonna the go worst places ever. To county, yeah, dude. Fuck all that. I go to county. It's not the I'm, okay. It's a fucking staged bullshit. It might be the worst pri or worst county or jail or whatever, but dude, they're never like it's always. Well, I say they, that, but it's, they definitely aren't putting the craziest just, dudes in I there. I just for always imagine other jails are just worse than the jails I've been in. You know, but I, mean, I don't. I don't know, man. I think it all just comes down to. I mean, prison's a totally well, different monster, well, but yeah. like, I think. For the most part, county jails, if you just keep to your fucking self, everybody everybody who's there is either waiting trial and they're not trying to get more time, or they're fucking already sitting out a short fucking stint and they're not trying to get more yeah. time. For the most part. Well, they keep a lot of those motherfuckers in there for yeah. a long time. Oh, for sure. So, I mean, shit ha shit will happen. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, if you're not getting into fucking all the politics and all the bullshit, you're probably all right. Now, if you're a little bitch and can just get fucking, Unless you're a chomo. Get, yeah, if you're a chomo or some shit. <laughs> like, I'm not saying everybody's getting that fucking chill pass. Oh. But if you're just in there for a fucking bag of weed or something, or you know, whatever, fucking just warrants, whatever the fuck it is, driving with your license the most suspended. Part, there, there. I mean, I'm that's not saying what, you can't get in a bad situation. You absolutely can, but you're, yeah, you're probably fine. That's why I was in jail for a month, folks. Driving on a suspended license. Yep. They hated me so much in Deer Park. They hated me so much that they took me to county jail because yep. my license was suspended. Something that they can totally write you a ticket and, for and let you go. And they did away with the indigency program. Remember that program they had, the surcharge program with your licenses? Well, they had like the Texas Department of Transportation had this surcharge program to where that like when you got trouble with your license, they would suspend your license further. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they would just keep you know tap you know yeah, yeah. charging you every yeah, year yeah. or they would extend it keep charging you i had over nine thousand dollars <laughs> dude silos no, had like twelve thousand holy shit yeah dude, so you could just never pay it off because we could never get caught back up because it was just like it was just a ponzi scheme just yeah, like a, just 100%. money and yeah, then yeah. like finally after like 10 years of battling with those fuckers i finally got my license back and the next year they did away with it all yeah they did and i was like program. what the fuck so oh man fuck the scary, government dude. Yep. But uh that's like the fucking traffic cameras, dude. Like around here, all of a sudden they started putting up like red light red light cameras like everywhere and they never fucking used them. And it was cuz the whole fucking like uh the company that was like doing that, it wasn't like a part of the actual like it wasn't state money. It was just a company was just coming in, installing those cameras and like issuing tickets that you could go to jail for and yeah. shit, but the money wouldn't go to the state, it would go to that company. It was crazy, dude. And that's why, like, we got them, and then they never got used, and they all got just taken. Yeah, out. yeah. It was weird. We were like right on the tail end of that, but yeah, we did the whole fucking thing. But yeah, it's all a fucking scam, dude. It's all a money fucking grab. Scam. And it would be all right. Like, it'd be cool to pay taxes and the fucking whatever, break the law. You got to pay a little money, all that kind of stuff. If it would at least go to like good shit, you know what I mean? If it wasn't just fucking all corrupt bullshit and just you know, I don't know, man. Yeah, it wasn't just like. 
Well, that's what Everything I was just sucks. like to say. Like, <laughs> what the fuck would scam. like our founding fathers I fucking mean, do? They wouldn't. They would just. Get, I think they would fucking go tire tyranny. I, I think, think they would just go full on fucking get an iPhone. Go and probably like <laughs> go to the Liberty off, Bell. jerk themselves off to death probably <laughs> immediately. <laughs> I mean, the amount of restraint it would take. I'm like, wait, what? Unlimited pictures? <laughs> wait. All right, we're going to Bali. <laughs> Every different kind of woman. They're like, wait, we're going gotta, to Epstein Island. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. They just go. They go fucking straight to Epstein Island. <laughs> like, how? Wait, what? Fourteen-year-olds. <laughs> Americans? <laughs> Back in the 1700s. That's perfect. My wife is 14. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Well, it's like... Uh, it's funny because as like technology gets better and people become not necessarily the whole woke category... But just like more aware of things, <laughs> you know, more like awake, you know? <laughs> have their eyes open awoke. a little more. Not woke, but like <laughs> awoken. You know, <laughs> shut up, Zinger, dude. Not uh, I in that concept. Just aware of what's going on because yeah. I've always been that like we we're just talking about. Like, <laughs> Sorry, dude. I just got the idea of fucking. Like George Washington being like, oh, fuck it. You know, going and jerking off. It's like <laughs> unlimited pictures of fucking women. Like, hell yeah. And then he sees like a gay dude, a naked guy. And he's like, oh, and just shoots himself. <laughs> he's like, oh, no, fuck. No. It's like how jarring it would be to just see a dude banging another dude all of a sudden. Like, ah. Oh. Like, <laughs> he's like, was that Abraham? <laughs> uh, yeah, the fucking AI of him banging uh-huh. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh. That never happened. Ah, it's just hard to take. He said he would never speak of this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, what were you saying? I don't remember. <laughs> You're getting deep about something. <laughs> something. Oh, like, um, I don't know. Oh, like just being aware of uh the media. Like, like when I say woke, not as in like, oh the. The hippie hippie aspect of it, but more of like the realization of that. Where was I going with this? God damn it! <laughs> I'm I'm not, um, you, dude. I'm I'm against all no, that like shit. No, like as as Trump, the years progress, twenty twenty four. I'm putting the picture back up. <laughs> as the years progress, you the presidents, blah blah blah, whatever. But um, like we said, we haven't voted, right? I I don't, yeah, I don't vote. I mean, I, don't I, vote. I vote, but I just vote for chaos. I literally right. vote third party all the way down the ticket. So right. Whatever so, the other parties are. Just pick and one that's one. the same chaos. Like, if you don't vote, right? people say, oh, vote, 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 vote. But it's just like, you know what? I'm not going to vote because what is what am I voting for? Like, the media is what I was getting at. Is You're not voting for the media. Well, the media is construing a narrative for you to vote oh who you show oh, like paying attention to like right opponents. right right exactly yeah, that's not exactly the same as politics but yes it's all some sensational bullshit but i mean what i'm saying is we don't watching? pay attention to that no why would i ever so it's not relevant in our world so my theory but behind, it is relevant because they're running our country yeah they're absolutely they're taxing us and spending those dollars right on right they right want. so at what level i mean at, we know this. Like, how many people know that? You know, like, when does it, at what, what point does it not necessarily revolt? But oh, that enough people give up on this, right, this system like, of government? Yeah, not system of government, but just the way we the view. Funct- the way it's functioning. The functional currently. of the way it just works. Because Well, the problem is politics is boring as fucking it dick. Is so, like, boring. if you really pay super close attention to politics, it's like. Just kill yourself. I mean, that's you shouldn't be voting anyways because you should be dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, who the fuck cares about politics? Um, so I don't know if that'll ever change. And the people who do care are the people who are trying to get something out of it. So it's like, and I mean, old people who are fucking bored and don't have anybody to talk to and shit like that. But besides that, like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know who the fuck is paying attention to politics. It's so funny because I was at an uh, older lady's house the other day and she had a recycling bin. So recycling has been around since when I, I don't know. What do you think? 
Oh, recycling? Yeah, recycling. Well, the first time man ever recycled was <laughs> in the cave. So, he took his dung and put it on the wall. Made pictures. So, like, public recycling. I don't know. 60s? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. 50s? It seems like a hippie thing. Right. Yeah. But probably she, she literally told me, she's like, I've been recycling for over 20 years. She's like, what has this done for anything? She's like, I've been doing this. Like I've been actively doing this for over twenty years, and we're st- like, yeah, you know, like it, it's it's. Well, that's the thing is, <sighs> it's so weird though. To right? think like, the thing that somehow your actions can can make this huge, you know, drastic change in the world is kind of fucking far fetched. Like well, that's kind of the thing. In that is, instance, you need she's everybody to that. do that. Yeah, but at the same time, what you can do, and this is kind of like the fucking Jordan Peterson like shit. It's like. What you can do is your best version of you, whatever your principles are, whatever your, you know, guiding shit is. It's like, I mean, unless you're want to like shoot up schools and stuff, like whatever, you know, you think your purpose is if or whatever, you know, you're trying to leave the world a better place than you left it. It's like you can do your part on that. Like you can make sure that you don't leave an oil oil in the fucking gulf like other people that's them right and i get it and you but you can't do anything about other people you can do shit about your, what you do but and if everybody would just do that and you know take responsibility then it'd be great but that's never gonna happen so right. you can just join them or you can just keep grinding and doing good because you know I'm, yeah it was just funny <laughs> i'm just saying it was just funny no i i agree completely because yeah. in that instance she's just like like i can keep recycling but it's not going to make a difference because no one else is doing this. The worst part about or that it is gets th- traded to another hand and then that other hand gets traded. In, yeah. It ends in the Gulf. I was about to you say, know, yeah, like, the worst part about that is a lot of times that shit doesn't go to a separate right, place. Right. Right. Yeah. That just ends up in a landfill. Do like you think our else. fucking tanks, we triple rinse, go to a separate landfill? Probably not. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, that shit? Yeah, they're not a chance. So, I mean, it's just like one of those things where you just realize, like, she's an older lady. Like, it took her this long to realize this, you know? Yeah. Like, it. I love the concept, but when you're a little kid, it was like a game, right? What, what do you mean? Throwing shit out the window. Oh, that was funny. You yeah. know, just but like that's being a kid, man. right? But you don't still, have that imagine view millions like that. of kids doing that. <laughs> well, that's what's happening in China, dude. <laughs> no, dude, that's one thing though. Is like the big fucking trash island in the middle of the Gulf, like or the middle of the uh, Pacific Ocean, is crazy. But most of that shit, like. That's even part of the propaganda is to make you think that you're actually part. Right. You're the reason. It's like, sure, have I ever tossed out a straw that ended up in the fucking ocean somewhere? Possibly. You know what I mean? A fucking, I don't know, like a Snickers wrapper or something just caught the wind, ended up in the uh, water. That very well may have happened. But bunch like, of piss bottles. 99% of this shit is coming from places that are like in rural, like Eastern Asia, where it's just the only, they just, it's their regular thing is you just throw your trash into that river that runs it yep. through the city and it just goes away and that's fine. And that's just how they live. And it's not even necessarily like them being like, Oh fuck the planet. We don't give a shit. It's just, it's the middle it's, of fucking They don't nowhere. have a they trash, have, yeah, a garbage have, man that comes by. Yeah, they have bikes yeah. and like a couple dudes have vehicles that can actually go to the next city. But right. For the most part, not really. And it's just millions of these fucking little, little fucking places that don't have a place to put their trash or just have never, created a landfill well, or whatever you yeah know? yeah and where the fuck do we put our trash we just fucking i don't know and put it in the <laughs> do you know i don't like, fucking know I mean, wherever it is the pacific ocean <laughs> but either way it's one of those things man it, it's it's that it's well yes that's happening but what are you gonna do are you just gonna fucking start throwing water bottles out into the gulf when you're at the i beach? mean i'm not gonna no, start recycling but i'm not gonna start yeah. littering yeah, yeah you know so. i don't litter but, yeah. I'm but not, like i don't one. recycle yeah. so it's like yeah are you a better person because you recycle? Is that a whole thing too? Like a it, status thing? Well, it's, I mean, it can be for for sure if like, that's oh, the way I you recycle. look at it. But Make it sure you do that and that to, because, oh, don't put papers in there. Do oh, that Oh, you could be a cunty you know, person you know what I'm saying? about anything. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you want to be, if, if I, I would say that that can obviously be your thing that you're a cunt and you're just like, my neighbors don't even have recycling bins. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. They don't recycle. You know, and just be that way. But uh, if you're doing it and you think it's for the greater good, then do what you <coughs> think is for the greater good. Fuck it, dude. I don't care. 
it. So people <laughs> think like getting naked and getting like three minutes of sunlight in their butthole is going to make them a better person. I, I don't know. Gives them more oh. energy. Vitamin D. Yoga for longer. It's not my thing, but if that's what you if you think that's good, then do it, dog. Do your shit. Yeah, do your shit, America. Yeah, but there's nobody that's like, oh, this is a great thing that I'm doing. <laughs> and just smashing it. I mean, there's definitely drunk teenagers doing that. They're like, this is badass. Oh, yeah. But, you know, for the most part, people aren't just throwing shit out the window going, hell yeah, dude, I'm helping the earth. But glass is. They're not doing it for a good reason. Glass will break down. Yeah, glass actually isn't the worst thing. It isn't the worst with, thing. But whatever. Well, they make, four, <laughs> they make 40 bottles out of plastic now, so there's no glass for teenagers to break. Right, anymore. yeah, fuck. They're right. They're, you're telling me they're teenagers are going and buying bottled beers anywhere? Nah. There's not a fucking chance. Nah. And aluminum will break down too. But. Dude, whatever happened to like the good old days that like we could just walk in and just buy beer? Not with no ID. You know what I'm saying? Just You just went to that corner store oh, so many that, times. Yeah, that one spot. Yeah, that one spot hey, yeah, that yeah. you just went to and they just got the sixer or... 12 pack. Like, oh, hell yeah. Dude, that shit was funny, dude. It was like meeting a drug dealer, dude. Just like... Your homeboy has to go with you the first time. <laughs> you guys both get a case. Yeah. The guy don't say nothing. Maybe do that a couple of times. Yeah. Then one time you go in by yourself. Yeah. And then see what happens. Yeah. Dude, there was this one place Roll downtown. the dice. That me and my old roommate would, uh, which we were of age at the time, but they would sell beer after hours. Like you could walk, it there, walk in there at three in the morning and buy a fucking case of beer. And <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah. Cause we got crazy liquor laws in Texas. But, uh, for beer and liquor laws in Texas, but uh, yes, yeah, so you could go in there literally any, basically any time. You're paying like an extra at the time, like an extra like five or ten bucks for a case, but whatever. It's four a.m. You got to keep the party going. Fuck it, that's what you got to do. Hey, that's what back when cocaine was real cool. So four a.m. party until four a.m. was pretty much easy, right, easy. Good old days, right? Yeah. But no, yeah, the cool gas station in town. Hell yeah, dude. All you gotta do is just grow a little bit of facial hair and then you can buy cigarettes from the old fucking yep, that was <laughs> Arabian dude down the road. Hell yeah, boy. Came over until they got busted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all of, <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden there's they like a young dude busted. working there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a white guy in there for two days and you're like, oh, fuck. And then all of a sudden there's a new guy. Yeah. Like, always get happening. busted. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, they got busted like two weeks ago, dude. You're like, fuck. <laughs> Which is the craziest shit, like, to be like, I'm going to be that guy that sells cigarettes to kids. Because, like, are they pocketing that? There's no way they're making that money straight direct. Like, you would think the owner of the place would be like, yeah, fuck it, I don't care, I need this money. But, like, just a dude working there is like, I'm just not going to check IDs. I mean, <laughs> I'm, he the might cool kids make in town s- can buy beer from me. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess that's the extra get, five bucks I off the top. I get to go to the cool parties? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I get to meet girls, maybe? Yeah, oh, yes. girls? Oh, Alcohol? <laughs> Me good pussy? Me good pussy? Me pussy from, a, from 16-year-old pussy? Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, uh, I don't know what, like, what is, I, I mean, I guess if you're upcharging the kids, that's how you do it. They buy a 12-pack, you ring it up as a 24, you go Respect. back there and grab a 24. Respect, dog. Buy a 12. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you okay. know, shit happens. But, uh, I don't know. I remember I went at, we went to... Or old, uh, we went out of town. You were like, "Hey, this this corner store, we can get beer for sure." And I was like, "They're like, oh, you can do it. You're old. You look old enough." I'm like, oh, yeah. all right, whatever. No, it was oh, okay. with Destin and some other dude. I yeah. can't remember his name, but we were out in Teague or somewhere. Else yeah, yeah, at his mom's. Anyways, um, they're like, "Go to this gas station. We're gonna get beer. Like, they for sure. Sh- she's like, she's gonna for sure give it to you." And yeah. I was like. All right, guys, like, whatever. So I go in there, sure as shit, I grab two 18-packs of Budweiser, <laughs> put them on the counter. She just rings me up and walk out, and I'm like, hell yeah, let's go, boys! Well, that same fucking night, we're drunk driving <laughs> down these windy roads, dude, and me and Destin, like, almost hit this 300-pound boar. <laughs> we go around this corner, and this boar, is, dude, it's when he had a little Honda, a little hatchback. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the boar is the same size as the fucking car. Yeah. He like, Aah! we like, dude, I'm talking like yeah, inches, yeah. dude. And this motherfucker stood still and just come at me. And then just yeah. ran off. We're like, 
Oh my god, let's go the fuck back home. It's crazy that animals do that. They fucking freeze. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Oh, because you. I mean, because you can use that hunting. Like I've been like, you know, it's maybe. It's oh yeah, whatever. just you just fucking no, just shit like that. You just turn the flashlight on or quick. just anything. Yeah. yeah, you just make a noise. Yo, there you go. Yeah, you just fucking pop their ass. Yeah. You. That shit works. That shit fucking works. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, it was we almost crazy. died. Yeah. <laughs> And that was the same night we went and picked mushrooms while it was a lightning storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my That's god. Fun. Cody, I think was his name. Cody. 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 Oh Cody out Cody there. Too. Out there in the woods. <laughs> yeah, Cody. <laughs> he knew all the good mushroom spots. Cody. Yeah, Shout sounds about right. Frisky Dingo. If you never watched Frisky Dingo. Cody too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cody too's down. <laughs> 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 oh, feels good. My balls. And then the original Cody was his partner that was in prison, right? <laughs> he like, framed him. He's like, "Hey, man, uh, you, you just, uh, you're late on the commissary. You, you said you were gonna give me fifty bucks." He's like, no, "Listen, man, I can't be doing your. I can't be paying for your whole stay." <laughs> he's like, "No, they're gonna kill me in here, man." He's like, well, "Whatever, kill me in here, guys. <laughs> took the fall for you." He's yeah, like wearing well. lipstick. <laughs> If you guys haven't watched Frisky like Dingo, yeah, 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 yeah. Framed in his forehead. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 if you like The Office, if you like Archer, dude, that was the OG, the OG of OGs. The Office. What does The Office have to do with it? The whole, the camera. Oh, you're you like know, the mockumentary kind that, of stuff. Yeah, 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 that whole style where it like goes like occasionally it, it's like the almost like the the fucking reality tv like yeah like, yeah it yeah, flashes yeah, yeah to the confession room right like, right well, whatever I'm right just, right yeah, yeah exactly yeah, that that's where happened. that all that pretty much yeah it started there started because i think some of the writers and producers from that first Nigo started the office and uh archer but i may be wrong i'm pretty sure archer i mean they're literally archer Santa i mean Cruz and archer are the same yeah. fucking person yeah. they're literally the exact same character yeah sterling mm. they just have his different voice yeah john benjamin well yeah frisky dingo all the way hell yeah dude Cacao. <laughs> um okay i got a question for you yep you always ask me questions and i figure i'd ask you one fair enough so this segment's called clint finally asks his question all right. You have three options. Three options. Okay. You can keep your tiny little white dick right now. Keep my teeny deeny. Or you can have a 12 incher. 12 incher. But it's always soft. It'll never get hard ever. But it's huge. It's, gonna be, it's a shower. All right. No. Or it's always hard and it never goes soft. And what's the size? 12 inches. Oh, you're getting a big one regardless. You're getting, a bull, you're getting a hog. Uh, but it's well, got some problems. Yeah, you're not, your, you're I'd have to quit Honda my job. For a Maserati. I'd have but to, it's got a few problems. I'd have to quit my day job. Not if you got the soft one. Well, I'm, t- I'm testing my options here. <laughs> so I'm just thinking through here, man. I'm just thinking it through. Yeah. <laughs> if I had one, I mean, I'd if have you, to quit my job. But if you had the hard off, one. You could quit your job and just become a porn star. That, I'm, that's where I'm getting at. <laughs> okay, that's, okay. That's where I'm getting yeah, at. Right. I mean, if if I had the hard one, I could. I definitely had to quit my job. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, I could not cannot. not do pest control <laughs> no, with that thing going. Um, too many one on one scenarios yeah, with yeah. people in their homes. Yeah. <laughs> but great porn. Here to check your rat traps. <laughs> just yeah. Fucking, just like, Fucking just pulled out, <laughs> but great <laughs> porno parody. Yeah, obviously. I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, just I'm here to check your rat trap. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, in a different set and setting, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I would, yeah, I would definitely go always hard. <laughs> yeah, always hard. <laughs> so much more money in porn. Yeah, but no matter what, you're not keeping your own penis. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> okay. That was why do you tell why, why that was you one tell of your me? options? That was the first option I gave you is keep your tiny little white penis. Or I mean that's fine. Okay, cool. So big, you go big hard? I mean I'll be twenty the first twenty four hour porn star just Yeah, dude, you just be a twenty four right. hour live stream on yeah. fucking porn. Yeah, I'll be sleep. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that'd be perfect, actually. Yep. I'm in. All right. I'm a 12 hard guy myself. I'm a 12 hard guy. <laughs> 12 hard boy. 
<laughs> I've actually uh, wanted to bring this up. I, when I was younger, I, you ever heard of extends? Extends? Yeah. Oh, the penis enlargement yeah. pills. <laughs> I overdosed on extends. <laughs> what? <laughs> And that's why my penis is incredibly small. <laughs> yeah, no. It had reverse side effects. It's like fucking and Mortal Kombat. You did the double freeze, <laughs> freeze back. Just... You know what? We should probably do two. I was. Oh, and your penis just gets smaller. <laughs> <laughs> they have to take you to the hospital. So, yeah. Did you um, really OD on extend? <laughs> <laughs> you really had to get your stomach pumped because yeah, you took too I many pimps. took bucket. 12. I was. Honestly, I was pissed off at my dick. <laughs> I was like, fuck you guy. And the first started getting pubic hair and it was like immediately my pubic hairs were longer than my dick and, and it was I, just, I couldn't I take blame it, it on the porn, it. man. Yeah. I saw those hogs and I was like, I can do this. <laughs> You're playing it. I Enrique just, Iglesias. I, just, I rung my fucking mom's credit card up. <laughs> yeah. And I fucking threw a hell of Mary, bro. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I'm going to eat 12 of these. <laughs> it's like an inch yeah. of pill, right? <laughs> I have to eat them all before my mom sees that. Yeah. <laughs> fucking credit card report. My calculations were off, oh, man. Yeah, dude, one of our buddies fucking did that. Uh, he maxed out. Like, <laughs> he got a credit card and just bought a bunch of dick pills online. <laughs> and then he couldn't get a fucking like, car loan for like seven or eight years, dude. <laughs> credit's all fucked up. Like, how is your credit fucked up, dude? You're 19. He's like. You probably won't laugh at me. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> not a fucking chance. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> you understand having no credit? You have bad credit. Like your fucking yeah. mom take out a credit card in your name? Like, no. Like, you got a big happened? dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a big dick. All right. Like, yeah. No, he was like, they didn't fucking work, man. Like, and he was like, dude, like. I mean, like, I'm fine with my shit, you know what I mean? But, like, you know them pills? <laughs> like, what? I, was like, I mean, it's cool. Like, I'm, 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 my shit's fine. But if you want if you could get it bigger, you would get it bigger, right? Right. Like, uh, sure. He's like, well, that's what I did. <laughs> like, oh well, God. that's what I did. Check it out. <laughs> that's why you want me to front you fucking, you know, or sign for your fucking apartment? That's <laughs> because you bought fucking dick pills. You can't get a loan because you can No, dude. I'm not doing you that. You still owe the company for money you, for your dick pills? Yeah, oh, uh, that was good times. Yeah, well, good stuff. Yeah. Anyways, only take the recommended dosage of yeah. dick pills. It doesn't not does not <laughs> does not work like that, folks. Listen, give up. You're <laughs> a regular white, okay? <laughs> you just got a regular white dick, all right? Yeah. That's just what your life yeah. is. It's not a big deal. Not anymore, though. No. Not anymore. No. <laughs> it's an irregular white dick. Not if you OD on extends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that was the thirtieth episode of the cast. It's been uh it's been a pleasure. Everybody who's ridden along with us, you know, been riding doggy style, taking belfies and sending them to us. Thank you very much. We got some hot belfies um, coming your way. Hell yeah, dude. Hot dog flavored water. The chocolate starfish in the hot dog flavored water. Respect. 